Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video we will be studying about frequency shift keying or FSK. This is the second techniques for this is the second technique for performing digital to analog conversion that means encoding or representing digital information on an analog signal. So in frequency shift keying what we are basically doing is we are changing the frequency of the carrier signal. So we saw that in each of the techniques for uh, performing digital to analog conversion we are changing one of the three important characteristics of a carrier signal either the amplitude frequency or the phase so in frequency shift keying we are varying the frequency of the carrier signal depending upon the data element or the digital information that we want to transmit now each data element will be represented by a unique frequency in the final a signal that will be transmitted okay and another important point is that the peak amplitude and phase will remain constant for the uh, carrier signal that means we will not do any changes in either of these either the amplitude or phase when we are performing frequency shift keying okay now just like amplitude shift keying there are two forms of frequency shift keying which is the binary FSK and the multi-level FSK. So starting with binary FSK, as the name suggests, there will be two carrier frequencies. The first carrier frequency can represent bit 0 and the second carrier frequency will represent bit 1. Okay, So for each unique bit, each individual bit, we will have a carrier frequency. Alright, now let us say we want to represent uh, the data 0 1 0 1 0 so what we will do for the duration of the signal element the first signal element 0 we will maintain one particular frequency of the carrier signal and as soon as the signal element changes that means we come we have to transmit now the second bit so second bit is 1 which is different from the previous bit. So we will now represent 1 with a second carrier frequency. So we, this in this case the frequency has increased. So uh, again when we want to represent 0 as the third bit then we will uh, reduce the carrier frequency and bring it to the same level as the first carrier frequency. So whenever you are representing zeros, you will use the frequency of the first carrier and second in case of uh, uh, bit 1, you will be using the frequency of the second carrier wave. Okay, So this is how a binary frequency shift keying will be implementing, implemented resulted into a non-periodic composite signal with multiple frequencies. Okay. So it is a non-periodic signal that means the, uh, the cycle which is getting completed for the signal is not following a pattern. Okay, It is changing. First the uh, 0 bit is represented with a certain frequency then bit 1 is represented then if uh, some other pattern comes in future uh, and the order in which these bits are incoming then this frequencies will change accordingly. So there is no pattern that is being followed um, and it is a composite signal because composite means more than one. So it can say contains more than one frequency and the composite signal has multiple frequencies. Now generally binary frequency shift keying is implemented using a voltage controlled oscillator which is also known as VCO. And in this oscillator, what happens is that when 0 bit has to be uh, represented, the oscillator maintains its original frequency. Okay, And whenever a positive voltage or bit 1 has to be represented, this uh, the frequency of the oscillator is increased. So this is one of the methods of uh, performing binary FSK there are different implementations in different places. 
Now coming to the second type of frequency shift keying, which is the multi-level shift keying. Now, as uh, uh, you, you might have understood, multi-level means multiple types of frequencies. So there are more than two frequencies which are representing more than two bits. Okay. So in case of two bits, we will uh, so it can represent two or more bits because when we have two bits, the total number of unique data elements would be 2 raised to power 2. That means four combinations can be formed with the help of two unique bits. Okay. So in this case, two bits will have four combinations which will be represented by four different frequencies. Let's say F1, F2, F3 and F4. And if we have 3 bits, we will have 2 raised to power 3, which means 8 combinations that will be formed by 3 bits. So, 8 unique combinations would require 8 different frequencies for performing frequency shift keying. Okay. So, this was all for today's video. If you understood this content and you liked the video, please hit the like button, share with your friends and subscribe to our channel. In the next video, we will be doing phase shift keying and uh, one last technique of uh, performing digital to analog conversion in which we combine two characteristics and change the original carrier signal. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Till we meet in the next video. Mind your exam.